Hey, welcome to the channel All Sorts of Adventure. My name is Nate, and here my wife Sarah and I do things like family, adventure, and entrepreneurship. Today, I'm going to be talking about why we use the GoPro and why we replaced the GoPro Hero 4 Silver with the GoPro Hero 7 Black. So check it out. Thanks for joining me on this vlog. Uh, before we get into the GoPro, the nitty gritty and stuff, I do want to, you know, do a little shout out slash self five to Sarah and I right now, if she were here, that this is our 10th vlog, which means for the past 10-ish weeks, we've been consistently creating content and uploading it, which is a big deal for us. Our goal is to do 50 videos over the next year. So that's 20% done. So, you know, again, self five, Sarah, if you were here, so yeah, with that being said, you know, on to the video. So just like the video and the title suggests and I talk about, we're talking about the GoPro. We're talking about the GoPro Hero 7 Black and, and why the GoPro Hero 7 Black. Well, before going too much further, the reason I've used the GoPro in the past is because of its versatility. This camera is small, this camera is easy to use, and it's very versatile. So I can put it anywhere, it can capture the moment and I can continue moving on. Most of the things I've done and have experience with are travel and adventure of the sort. I have a list of criteria that these, that any equipment I have needs to fit, whether that be camera equipment or like actual adventuring equipment for that matter. So the criteria, one, the camera or the equipment needs to be small, packable, light. Most of the time, if I'm going anywhere doing anything, I've either just got my bag or regardless, I have to carry it. So single bag or multiple bags, I've got to carry it. So it needs to be small, lightweight and packable. With that, um, it needs to be durable. So again, the GoPro, this is, I'm coming from the four, which I did have to have the waterproof housing for. Um, now they're just waterproof as they come. So. That's a plus, and then you can just make them even more robust by purchasing an additional hard case housing. Again, adventuring, I don't wanna worry about protecting and babying a camera right now. Will I get into more advanced cameras for Sarah and I? Probably in the future, but it's not happening right now. So it needs to be minimalist and lightweight, and it needs to be durable. Next, next is the price point. The price point has to be right. Sarah and I are still, I mean, we're frugal. Let's be honest. Sarah and I are super frugal. Any of our friends would back us up on that. Frugal, but I mean, we'll go about getting the things we want on discount or sale or dumpster diving or whatever it might be. The GoPro Hero 4, as I was, the GoPro Hero 7 Black comes in at $399 right now. I was able to get it at REI, which enabled me as a member to get an additional 10% um, dividend so another 40 bucks in my pocket plus they were giving out gift cards at the time for spending over 100 bucks again that's you know it's all five I was able to save 60 bucks there which all of that was a wash essentially because I spent a lot on the accessories which I would have done for any camera but we're not talking about that right now we're talking about price point and the price point was there 400 bucks as opposed to um, probably 500 or more I would spend to get another camera equivalent to what we want to do Fourth and last thing that I needed was versatile. I needed the camera to be versatile because Again, we're I'm trying to do multitude of things with it again. We're on a budget being fiscally responsible and uh, Lightweight, I don't want to carry multiple things with me. So uh, The fact that I can have these two little GoPros or this being my main camera right now the hero 7 black I am able to get a multitude of shots with it. I'm able to add an additional microphone to make the, the audio quality much better. I'm able to use filters as, need, as needed. Um, with the tripod, I can mount it anywhere as it is as my primary camera. And then if need be, I can take it all off and set it down wherever I want. So all that's fantastic. So those are my four criteria being said going into purchasing our vlog camera. So now getting into the meat and potatoes, why did I choose this camera? I chose this Hero 7 Black for four reasons. One, Hypersmooth. Anyone who bought the Hero 7 Black bought it because of the Hypersmooth. Let's be real, 
Uh, it has some great frame rates and such, but it has the claim that it's the gimbal killer, right? The hyper smooth. Um, and in my experience with it, I'm a big fan. Um, I don't have a gimbal or any other easy cam or steady motion device, but I've used others in the past and regardless of how you look at it with your experience or not, it's another piece of equipment you have to carry. And again, if I'm looking at my criteria for picking my camera, I don't want to carry extra equipment if I don't have to. So Hero 7 Black with the Hypersmooth allows me to capture great quality footage um, in regards to the stability without compromising uh, the weight and the extra money that has to go into additional equipment. So here's some black. Where one was the hyper smooth. Two, the use of a microphone. Now GoPro did not make this easy and this will be in my like versus dislike. The microphone is, I'm using the Rode Micro Video, Video Micro, one of the two and it is superb in enhancing the quality of your audio but in order to use it just like any other microphone with the gopro i believe hero 5 or above you have to get gopro special cord which was not cheap i'm glad i saved all the money i did on the camera third the fact that the video or the camera can shoot in 1080 uh p at 240 frames a second which is phenomenal if you're trying to capture any slow motion. With that, you can also do 4K at 60 frames a second. Am I utilizing 4K at this time? No, I can't watch anything on 4K. And, uh, but does that mean I'm not gonna do it in the future? Of course not. Which brings me to my final point, is that when this camera is done, I can simply retire it as another action camera. Right now it's serving as our primary camera, so it's, covering our I mean, vlogging content, um, using for um, any like media we're gathering. But when it's done, it's I can simply put it in a hard case housing and clip it on to anything I want to get good video. So um, I guess the fifth reason would be that I already have mounts. So I guess we have five reasons. So five reasons. Those are the reasons I chose the GoPro Hero 7. Now, let's talk about some of the likes versus the dislikes. Some of the likes, one is obvious, the hypersmooth. The hypersmooth is pretty phenomenal. Um, it enables you to remove a gimbal, um, I would say, for the most part, in my non-professional opinion. Um, I don't need to carry that piece of equipment. I can walk with the camera on this tripod to eliminate some of that left to right motion. And the, cam the video shoot's pretty stable. Very happy with it. The interface, I'm a big fan of how quickly you can choose between your different settings. Um, it's it, GoPro the interface made it fairly fairly easy um, I've not had any problems with it and um, I find it easy to use and to maneuver through the last thing would be the frame rate options um, so yeah like I said you can shoot 240 frames a second at 1080p or you can shoot 60 frames a second in 4k so regardless of whether you're trying to shoot just regular vlogging footage right now like at I am at a uh, 60 frames a second at 1080 at least at my level right now, um, I'm happy with the options that I have for the frame rates and, and the quality of video. That covers most everything I'm happy with in regards to the camera. Now, going to the dislikes. Um, the biggest dislike I have with this camera is really one sticking point, and that is the cord. Uh, the, the special GoPro cord that you are required in order to convert the 3.5 millimeter to the USB-C you know, you're gonna have to buy a cord if you want the camera and you wanna use any additional microphones. That's really my only dislike. So you get what you pay for. It's not like you're shooting with a super fancy DSLR or uh, anything even, I mean, remotely in between them. Uh, but you are shooting with a solid camera and the fact that I can easily throw this, um, either strap it on the side of my bag or on top or in my wife's purse for that matter, makes it a great camera for us to carry around. So I guess the bottom line is I would recommend this camera to someone. I would also help them manage their expectations because, I mean, understand what it is that you're getting. Um, again, looking at my four criteria of what I wanted in a camera, I wanted it to be small and minimalistic, durable. I wanted it to be the right price point and I want it to be versatile. I think I, I think I have the the perfect mix for me right now. So with that, that concludes my review and preliminary findings of the GoPro Hero 7 Black. 
my goodness, I don't know how many times I've said that. Go for Hero 7 Black, go for Hero 7 Black. I don't know how many times I've said that during this entire video. But, that's my preliminary review of it. Comment down below if you guys have an accessory that you like, or if there's anything you'd recommend that I'm not doing. Uh, if you guys want to see more videos on adventure, entrepreneurship, and family, subscribe. Sarah and I are putting out a video every week covering those topics. Um, she, again, she's gone in Valdez right now, and I'm going backpacking tomorrow, so spoiler alert. Next week should be some sweet adventure recap, hopefully. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a great week. Take care. Bye.